Hi folks, this is Vic back again with another fragrance review. Today I'm going to review Fragrances of Stars. It's a new chapter and we are going to talk uh, the Fragrances uh, uh, of Stars signature scents. So let's uh, start. First will be uh, also watched by the House of Christian Dior. Uh, this scent is a um, citrus aromatic fragrance and it was released in 1966 uh, by the House of Christian Dior and that was the signature scent of the late Steve McQueen. Number uh, second will be uh, Abbey Rouge by the House of Guerlain, released in 1965, is an amber woody scent, and that was a signature scent of Sir Sean Connery. Uh, number three will be uh, Agua Lavanda by the House of Pooch, uh, released in 1940, is an aromatic fougere, and that was a signature scent of the late Frank Sinatra. Number fourth uh, will be uh, Air du Temps, uh, by the house of Nina Ricci Paris, released in 1948, is a floral scent, and that was the signature scent of the late Lana Turner. Number fifth will be Chanel, number five, uh, by the house of Chanel, released in 1924, is a floral aldehyde scent, and that was a signature scent of the late Marilyn Monroe. Number sixth will be Aqua di Parma, released uh, in um, 1960. And uh, it's a citrus aromatic scent. Aqua di Parma Colonia was a signature scent of the late Cary Grant. And uh, along with Aqua di Parma Colonia, he also wore uh, Green Irish Tweet by the House of Crete. And number uh, seventh will be Von Ver uh, by the House of Pierre Balmain Paris, released in 1947, is a florist green scent. And that was a signature scent of the late great uh, art, uh, actress Greta Garbo. So that's it. Uh, I'll be back with other uh, chapters of the fragrances of stars and I will get more materials and I hope that you enjoy this uh, new chapter. It's just for your pleasure, for your information. Now you know if you were one of those, you are wearing a fragrance of a star. Cheerio!